Hey there, Gemini. This is going to be your March uh, tarot reading. And this is for Geminis who are sun, moon, and rising. That will resonate with this reading. If you're familiar with my usual monthly readings, I tend to um, use a 10-card spread. But instead, I'm going to do a 5-card spread for this month. Okay. So let's go ahead and tune into the energies for Gemini for the month of March. Gemini. Straight from the top, Six of Swords for the overall energy, the Queen of Wands as the challenge and the lesson, and <laughs> suggested approach, Page of Cups, Focus, Five of Swords, Outcome, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see, your overall energy you have. The Six of Swords. So I feel like this month you're headed towards much, I feel like a peace of mind. You have a peace of mind. Your thoughts will flow much easier. I feel like maybe right at this time that you watch this video, you might be slowly coming out of uh, a mental block or... Um, a stagnation in some communication that maybe you wish or would hope would start flowing or would start up whether it's start up again or just start you're slowly moving into I feel like the messages will start to flow if you're waiting for some type of communication it's like things will start to move again or like I said if you're having a a mental blockage right now your thoughts will start to move harmoniously again it's a clarity of thought for your challenge in your lesson you have the Queen of Wands so the challenge for you I feel is to be assertive like I feel like you're the person that needs to push things in the right direction it could be that you're creating your own mental blocks it's not really a situation or another person involved or an outside source such as any divine energy or anything that's imposing this on you it's usually you that's doing it I feel like with the Queen of Wands as the challenge it requires your assertion you taking the wand and taking some type of action or taking the initiative towards the communication you want or finding the clarity that you seek it's all up to you with the black cat here it's like subconsciously you know what to do it's like intuitively you know what to do. Um, so I feel like that's the lesson is to discover what this is that you need to do. With your suggested approach, you have the Page of Cups. So you're being guided to approach the situation with an open heart. Um, maybe even adopting a new um, insight. So it's like intuition is in play here as well. So it's like trusting in your intuition a little bit this month even if you don't have as much information as you would like or for some of you you might not always be used to using your intuition um, being an air sign you tend to use your logic more than than that the page of cups doesn't really need so much information they're very imaginative very emotional so whatever they feel they pretty much just act on that this could be that you need to offer this cup of love like I said if this is communication maybe you need to be the person to reach out um, with an open heart, not fearful, not overthinking it. It's like taking like um, some sort of some sort of risk. As the Page of Cups, it tends to be a younger energy, so this may be something that you're not used to doing. Whatever this approach is, or it could be that you might feel like it's immature, but it's necessary. Spirit is saying, with your focus, you have the Five of Swords. So your focus needs to be on paying attention to the negative thoughts that come up because this is usually what's creating this block. Once you can shift out of whatever these negative thoughts are or these things that you're saying to yourself or speaking into existence that are negative in nature, because I feel like that's what's causing the block. 
once you realize these things, it immediately shifts your energy into the Six of Swords where things can start to move again. So, for instance, if you're having trouble with figuring something out, it's usually because you keep telling yourself that you don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know what to do. So it's like you're putting that on yourself or I can't do that or I don't see how that could happen or could have been an argument and it's like maybe you need to focus on the things that were said and take some of that into consideration um, by not doing that again not making that same mistake and shifting your energy out of that space as well um, the outcome you have is the will of fortune so I feel like the outcome will be um, obviously this is in divine orchestration so whatever is meant to happen will happen but I feel like it's you asserting what what's meant for you, what you're meant to do in the situation, grabbing hold of the will and, and taking charge over the situation that ultimately you are in control of your own destiny. Yes, you have spirit guides, you have the universe, but at the same time, you are a part of those things, not a part from, but a part of those things. When you recognize it, the power that you have, you take the will and drive it it's in your hands, I feel. So you can turn the situation however you want to. You can choose to take charge and direct it in a fortunate place or a misfortune, fortunate area. If that, if that's even a word, misfortunate. But you can turn the wheel however you want. It's up to you. As the queen of wands, you have to assert yourself in the situation. Come out of the negative thought patterns, come out of the negative, the things that the words that bind you and keep you stagnant and stuck and confused and, you know, combative or miscommunication sent out there. You know, you have to be mindful of what you're saying, and what you're thinking, being the element of air. This should be like cake for you with the wands, which is out of your element. I still feel like you're able to utilize it, especially with the Page of Cups. That's also out of your element as well. But you have the power to do that just by shifting your perception. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's pretty much like a, a, a given from the universe that you can direct this however you want. As long as you follow through with your divine guidance, which is there twice actually with the the black cat and the page of cups which is usually an intuitive person okay so i hope that this resonates with you and that it will be beneficial throughout the month um as always you guys i send you lots of love and lots of light until next time peace